Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Featuring the big stage, the big sound, and the big lights, you can see the preview of Cranford Hollow's release of St. Telluride at a main event of the Elvin's release held August 13th through 16th. And here to tell us where and when their fourth album, album will do, debut, John Cranford and Andrew Hazel. Welcome Thank to you, the show. Sandy, for Absolutely. Us. Good to be back. Thrilled to have you. Congratulations on the release of the fourth Thank album. You. That's fabulous. Great job. So where was St. Telluride uh, re recorded at? St. Telluride started uh, outside of Telluride, Colorado mm -hmm. in the Hastings Mesa, which is um, 10 miles out of town, sort of in this desolate middle of nowhere, mountain-esque, uh, <laughs> no man's <laughs> land. And it's, it really is. It's far up and it's back roads and switchbacks. I bet it's beautiful. It's though. absolutely gorgeous. We got uh, really lucky. Uh, the engineer at a club we play in in Telluride, Colorado, Preston Havel, uh, he had been sort of uh, helping out at, at this studio, Studio in the Clouds. A great, you know, million dollar facility. We would never be able to afford it. Uh, however, they're closed in the winter time. So he sort of was able to get us in, cut us a break. Uh, spent about a week up there, first, uh, first part of January. Wow. Brought it back here to Hilton Head, did a little touch up, and then finished it up back down in St. Augustine at Retrophonic Studios with our producer, Jim DeVito, who we've done. Uh, three of the four albums with. Right. So, yeah. so what makes this album different than the, the past three? I think we're getting old. We're slowing down. It's like less of this. Like, <laughs> it's a little mellow. You know, Is that what you're trying the, to the say? The first time we were trying to talk here, about old. It was like punch you in the face, <laughs> rock and roll. You know, we're sort of mellow, yeah, mellowing out. And uh, obviously, musicianship, songwritership, uh, I hope is increasing sure. exponentially per album. Yeah, and the, you know, the guys did a great job coming in and, and laying down some fantastic, you know, instrumental tracks as well as uh, Phil Sermons writes a lot of our lyrics as well as myself, and, and Phil just had some great songs. And so I, th I think introspectively we're getting better as we do this. And so how are you going to promote Saint Telluride? The biggest thing we're trying to do is a pre-sale. Um, the billboard charts right now, the way that the industry's working, you don't have to have that many sales of an album to, to put yourself on the chart. Okay. Now, Indie Heat Seekers um, is a billboard chart specifically engineered for young, emerging, unsigned artists. So we're trying to pre-sale as many copies of this thing as we can. Um, we just got off of a nine week, nine th or excuse me, seven week, 9,000 mile, 22 state tour. Uh, we just got home Sunday, yeah. uh, so that was like sort of promotion. We're trying to get this billboard thing going, and then we're going to have these big four shows. So let's talk about those show, uh, those four shows. Uh, well, uh, it's going to be a great time. We start off on Thursday. Um, I believe it's August 13th. It's going to be out at Palmetto Bluff and their amazing chapel on the bluff uh, oh, overlooking the Bay River. that is going River. to be amazing. Yes, it definitely will So be. you have definitely mellowed the music yeah. <laughs> if you're going yeah. into the St. Palmetto or the Palmetto Bluff yeah. Chapel. <laughs> uh, well, it was, it was a great idea we kind of had um, with the guys out there at Palmetto Bluff um, to kind of start a chapel series. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe for the fall time we do their summer concert series, which is a little bit bigger of a production. Um, but we're just going to go in there, do an acoustic show, more of an intimate uh, feeling with some of our longest and uh, biggest fans. Uh, about 72 people can fit in there yeah. comfortably, and so Palmetto Bluff's going to cater it. Uh, and it'll be a nice little evening. Yeah, it will be a great evening. Mm -hmm. How about the, the 14th then? Uh, so Friday the 14th will be our, our big show. Uh, that's going to be on the beach uh, in front of Tiki Hut. We're going to bring in the big stage uh, that we had at Memorial Day and at Heritage. And uh, we'll have the big sound company and the big light company uh, doing everything for that production. And Tiki Hut's working really well with us. Um, and I think they're excited and we're excited to um, kind of throw that big show, we wanted to kind of maximize uh, right. our, our presence, our fans to, um, you know, in terms of how many people we can get at the show. And we quickly, Saturday and Sunday. We don't want to miss Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, we're going to be on top of a ferry at the May River Sandbar. Nice. Uh, that will be um, the Fusky, uh, Calabogie Cruises Ferry, the Delta Lady. Oh, and so that will take us and about 100 fans out to the sandbar. And of course, everyone that uh, normally, uh, all the normal boat goers sure. to the sandbar. They'll, they'll, they'll certainly have an opportunity well. to see you as well. And then Sunday, you'll be at Defusky. And then Island. that ferry will drop us off at Defusky that night for an after party. And then the next day, we'll play our normal show at Freeport at 
2 p.m. Um, and that will also be a, a collaboration with uh, Roger Pigney uh, in yeah. his release of his new book. Wonderful. Uh, do you know what that's called? It's the Mullet Manifesto. Oh, very cool, very cool. Yeah. So August 13th through the 16th, people need to go there, see it, be there. St. Telluride, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Sandy, Thanks. so Absolutely. much. Absolutely, and we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.